If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So first of all, I am going to do is to create a new React.js project by using the command npm create wheat at latest and I am going to give the name of the project as my app. So next I am going to select the framework or library. So I am going to select React as the library. Next I am going to select the language. So I am going to select the JavaScript. Then after that I am going to open this folder that is my app as like this way. Okay fine. Then next I am going to run the command the npm install for node modules. Okay so after that here I am going to take the index.css and I am going to remove this hole. Then next I am going to take the app.tsx. Here I am going to give as app as like this way. Okay, fine. So I am going to run the project by using the command npm run dev. Next I am going to click on this port. At that time you can see the project as like this way. Okay, fine. Then after that, I am going to search for I18 next react and I am going to click on this link. Here I am going to click on getting started. I am going to copy this command from here and I am going to run this command. So for that I am going to take the new terminal and I am going to run the command that we have copied as like this way. Okay, so it is completed. Next, I am going to search for I18 next browser language detector and I am going to click on this link. So here, from here I am going to copy this command as like this way and I am going to run this command in this terminal. Okay, it has also been completed. Okay, fine. Next I am going to do is I am going to create a new file. I am going to give the name of the file as i18n.jsx. I am going to import the i18n from i18 next. I am going to use that i18n here. i18n.use. Here I am going to give as language detector. We have to import this language detector also. So next I am going to import language detector from i18n browser language detector. After that I am going to give here as init react i18 next. I have imported that also. After that, I am going to give here init and in the object, I am going to give as first debug to true. This is for showing the error. Next, I am going to give a default language that is language colon. I am going to give English as the default language. Next, we have to give the resources. In this resources, we are going to give the section for translation. Okay, so first English. For translation, first I am going to give a greeting. I am going to give as hello. After that, I am going to do is I am going to copy and paste this section for two times. That's like this way. Okay, so here I am going to change this English to French, and here I am going to change it to Hindi. As like this way. So after that, next I am going to do is here you can see that this is the documentation that we have done. Okay, fine. Next I am going to do is I am going to change this hello in the French and the Hindi. So for that, I am going to search for English to French translation. I am going to give here as hello. At the time you can see the translation as like this way. So I am going to copy and paste it here. After that, I am going to change it to English to 
Hindi translation and I'm going to copy and paste it here as like this way. Okay, fine. Then after that, I'm going to import that i18n here in the main file dot slash i18 n dot jsx that's like this way i'm going to take the app component here i'm going to use the use translation hook so here i'm going to give as t const t equal to use translation hook and here i'm going to give as a, an h1 tag in the h1 tag i'm going to give as t of the greeting the greeting that we have already given in the i18 n so here you can see that this is hello now because we have given that a language a default language as english so i'm going to change the default language to french so at that time you can see it has changed okay fine then after that i'm going to do is i'm going to take the app component again here i'm going to define an array that is language in the array i am going to give as objects that is code en lang that is english language to english the next like that i am going to give as a code fr for the language french and code hi for the language hindi so after that i am going to do is i am going to map through this language language dot map I'm going to give as return and in the return I'm going to give as a button. So I'm going to return a button. So next day I'm going to take each as LNG and here I'm going to give as LNG dot language. Okay, that's the name of the button and the on click I'm going to give as Next step I'm going to do is I'm going to use the use translation again. So now it is not T. Now I'm going to give as use translation here as I18N. Okay, so I'm going to give here I18N in this on click. That is I18N contains a function that is change language. So I'm going to copy call this function change language and i am going to pass this lng dot code to this i18 and change language okay fine so now you can see that there is three buttons so i am going to click on the english next at the time you can see that it is changed to hello then i am going to click on french and next i am going to click on hindi okay fine so like this way we can change the language so next for showing i'm going to just use an input field and here i'm going to give as placeholder that is email then after that i'm going to use another h1 tag the next i'm going to do is i'm going to give here as info that is please login please login I'm going to give info here also. The next I'm going to take the translation. I'm going to give here as please login. And I'm going to copy this section. Next I'm going to paste it here in the info of the language Hindi. After that I'm going to change this to English to French. And I'm going to copy this section from here. Next, I'm going to paste it here as like this way. Okay, fine. So here I'm going to give us T of info. Okay, so now I'm going to click on English. Then I'm going to click on Hindi. So now you can see that the language is changing. If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel.